The president is once again lashing out at a well-known African-American public figure, NBA superstar LeBron James, who just opened a school in Ohio. On Friday night, CNN re-aired an interview with LeBron James, and it seems the president tuned in because he tweeted, and I quote, LeBron James was just interviewed by the dumbest man on television, Don Lemon. He made LeBron look smart, which isn't easy to do. I like Mike. That was a reference to Mike Jordan, Michael Jordan, who said through a spokeswoman afterward that he supported LeBron James and the amazing job he's doing for his community. Joining me are Professor Cornell West of Harvard and Princeton and CNN political commentator Paris Denard, former White House Director of Black Outreach for President George W. Bush. Professor West, I'm wondering what you make uh, of this, which is just the latest example of the president criticizing uh, an Af a well-known African-American person on intelligence. Well, I think we need to keep the focus where it belongs because it's clear that President Trump doesn't focus on what he ought to. The focus is on, first, Gloria Marie James, a mother, magnificent black woman, raises a magnificent son who becomes one of the greatest athletes in the history of modern times, who then uses his greatness to serve others, 230 very precious students of all colors who are being attended to. That's the focus. That's why I'm with my dear sister Melania Trump. She says that's what we need to be focusing on. Let's focus on the children. Let's focus on this magnificent act of service, which is part and parcel of what it means to be a great human being. And that's what I see in Brother LeBron, and I salute his mother for that. Paris, what does it say to you that the president doesn't focus on what Dr. West is talking about and what Melania Trump certainly was, was fo trying to focus on and instead just goes after him calling him dumb. And same with Don Lemon, as he's called Maxine Waters, low IQ, and others. What we know about this president is that he doesn't attack first, but he always responds. He responds to you if, if he uh, feels that he's uh, said something about, something said about him that is negative or harsh. He'll respond to someone who's black. He'll respond to someone that's a woman. He'll respond to someone that's white. That's just how the president was when he was a private citizen, a candidate, and now the president. The real focus should be on the president supporting things like charter schools and school choice and parental choice and trying to figure out ways how we can improve uh, school systems across the country, not just in Akron, Ohio, which I think is a positive thing, but I think and hope that LeBron James and others will come to the table with the federal government, with the Trump administration, and try to find ways to make this uh, solution more of a national solution, not just singularly focused on Akron, Ohio, which is still a right. very good thing. But, of course, none of that was said by the president of the United States, uh, Dr. West. Uh, what he did say and what he has said before about Congresswoman Waters and, and is one of the oldest kind of racist tropes, um, you know, racist attacks on African Americans in, in this country, questioning the, the intelligence of, of it. It was an obsession among racists, you know, for, for centuries. No, I think there's no doubt. We've got a whole line and lineage of racist, misogynist, uh, homophobic things said about this president. But I mean, that, that, that's like saying the sky is blue and grass is green. The, 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 cha the, the challenge is, and I was raised in such a way, you don't get in the gutter with a gangster. You respond with positive ways of accenting greatness, service, vision, struggle, courage. This cycle can go on and on and on with him saying these kinds of things. When he talked about Sister Maxine Waters, even the low IQ, now we know that's racist and sexist to the core, but you don't respond by trying to somehow react and simply counter what he's saying. A quick point that, to, just to correct Dr. West, the president, again, yes. is not the one that is on the attack. He is always responding to things that have been said to him about Congressman, uh, by Congressman Waters, by LeBron James, by others. And so the president is not sitting but, but here but, but, going but, but, on but the Paris, attack. He's Paris, responding that, to. That's, that, so that's, that's the an response important distinction. Of, that's the response of a 12-year-old. I mean, a 12-year-old can't stop themselves if somebody says something, they say something e equally mean or, or worse, or a 5-year-old. This is the president of the United States. I mean, he watched an interview in which LeBron James is talking about uh, you know, this extraordinary thing that he's doing and, and speaking about it in a really beautiful way about getting kids, you know, the, the, the power of a bicycle and a helmet for a kid that when he was a kid and, and going out and being able to see other worlds and giving him a sense of freedom, you know, and his, he took none of that away from this. All he said, is, you know, he tweets, Don Lemon made LeBron look smart, which isn't easy to do. I mean, that's... Well, Anderson, you can gloss over the facts of what uh, LeBron James actually said about the president, which was not 
positive. I don't understand why he was even talking about President Trump in this interview about his wonderful school. Because he was school. asked a question about him. Exactly. And I don't understand no, why in past tweets he's gone after on the attack about President Trump. So if you want to call the president because or president the, Trump the antics said, of the president said, as a child, then you can say that LeBron James is acting like a child because he is saying these things that are petty, that are childish about wait, the president wait, of the United States. So wait, either it goes oh, both no, ways or it doesn't. No, no, well, no, no, no. No, Curtis, no, LeBron to, was but, telling but, the truth. It was Donald Trump who called the black athletes sons of bitches. It was Donald Trump who mistreated Stephen Curry and the others who ha hadn't even planned on going to the White House. So, Brother Paris, let's just be honest. I mean, here we go again. Now, let's just be honest. It's Trump who's using this kind of vicious language. Vicious language? So if that's vicious, that's right. then LeBron James calling the president via Twitter bum would be vicious as well. Right. It's fascinating to me, though, Paris. I, look, I get you're a supporter of the president, and, and, and that's your gig, and, and you can't publicly break from him because then you'll get in trouble, I guess. But Anderson, actually, just you're wrong. I'm a grown man, and I have my okay. own opinions. I don't work for the All Trump right, administration. I never All worked right, for the campaign, and they don't so pay you, me. So okay, I have my good. own so, opinions. I've been a Republican okay. since I was 16 years old. Thank you. Okay. So let me ask you. You see no problem with the President of the United States going to the state of Alabama and calling African-American football players who are exercising their right, whether you agree with them or not, uh, sons of bitches and that they should be fired. Saying that in the state of Alabama, with all the history that we know in the state of Alabama, saying that in a public forum, and then calling Maxine Waters low IQ multiple times, and then calling Don Lemon stupid or whatever he called him, and LeBron James dumb, you don't see, you don't believe that there is any commonality in the criticisms, his go-to criticisms on African Americans. You don't see any, any through line to this. Well, Anderson, I have said on CNN a number of times and even said privately in the West Wing that I did not think it was appropriate or uh, the right, right. word. I'm just wondering, do you see a through line in it? Do you uh, see me, a let, let me finish saying that it was right to say sons of bitches. I did not think that was appropriate. And I think that was smart. And I said that wasn't a good thing to do. I said it on the CNN. And I said it privately in the West Wing. Now, I do see a commonality in all of these statements that the president is doing. And the common denominator is the president is responding to people who have said things that have been negative or harsh or that have attacked him personally or attacked his family or attacked his character. The president has done this to African-Americans, to white people, to white men, to white women, to members of his own cabinet. Professor West, I mean, do you think there's a commonality in... in oh, no, he, he has called he has called some white sisters uh, dumb. I think he called sis, sis, Sister Mika on, on MSNBC dumb. So he, I think Brother Paris is right. He, he uses dumb across race, across gender. But the problem is, is that when he focuses on people of color and talks about that, uses that kind of language, we have a history that goes a long way that accents the deep white supremacist overtones, even as he's calling a white male dumb, a white woman dumb. And I mean, sex and the women has been called dumb for 2,000 years. What a male supremacist lie. So that, yes, Paris, it's true. He's an equal opportunity gangster across the board. Our challenge is going to be, and I would tell you this, Brother Paris, if somebody called you a vicious name and I thought it was wrong, I would defend you based on principle, even though we don't agree on a whole lot, but we human beings. And I know there's gangster in me, there's gangster in you, there's gangster in Trump, there's gangster in Anderson. The, the, the challenge is how do we get control of those gangster elements so that we have lived a, a life of some decency and a slice of integrity. That's what we're talking about. It's all about accountability, accountability, accountability. Well, Paris Nard, Professor West, I appreciate the discussion. Thank you very much. Thanks, Anderson.